And with this next fight, I'm pretty confident that Dusko Todorovic is going to get this one done. We got Jordan Wright taking on Dusko Todorovic. And whenever Jordan Wright's in the cage, there always is a chance that Jordan Wright can get the win just because he throws a lot of danger strikes, big body kicks, big head kicks, spin kicks, knees. So if he lands something at range, especially early, he can turn anyone's lights out. So that's the danger with Jordan Wright. But, you know, I feel like Jordan Wright, he has way too many holes to be in the UFC. Honestly, he is a guy that has decent range striking and keep it at range. He has good kicks. He'll try to land that rear cross and he can end up throwing some real nice spin kicks. And if he can go forward, then he'll mix in knees and get real confident and can be real aggressive. But when he's facing a guy that can kind of control that distance too and press him backwards with effective pressure and get inside his defense is really bad he gets real spastic he'll shell up and give a lot of openings to be hit he doesn't move his feet and just gets very it seems like he'll get almost scared to get hit and in doing that he leaves a lot of openings to get knocked out and i feel like he just doesn't really do well in the pocket he doesn't really throw much back he doesn't really have much in the way of effective defense so i think that's a big issue for him and in his last fight he tried to mix in the wrestling he got a takedown and he ended up trying to go for another takedown and got guillotine and i've never seen him use offensive wrestling that was the first time i'd seen him really go to that so that could be something that he's trying to work on and bring into his game but Dusko Todorovic is a good jiu-jitsu fighter i don't think that he's going to be able to compete with Todorovic on the ground and Jordan Wright, you know, also getting submitted in his last fight could be a little bit hesitant to want to push the grappling again in another fight. But one thing on Jordan Wright where I think he, besides at range with the kicks, he's also at his best is in the clinch. He's strong. He has real nice uh, knees. And he's good in the clinch with knees and elbows, decent control. But he also can be stuffed against the cage, controlled there himself. Doesn't really have a good ability to switch position or turn off the cage and can get held there and lose minutes in the fight. And Todorovic, I feel like, even though he's not really had the most success in the UFC, he's still a decent prospect. He's a guy that's athletic, that has pretty good striking. I like his left hook over the top. I think that's going to be able to land effectively. He kind of loops it, and I think it can get over and around that guard that Jordan Wright likes to use. And Dusko can close the distance with some pretty explosive combinations. Puts uh, his hands together fairly well. He'll use the jab, double jab to set up the two and when he can back guys up he's pretty effective at cutting them off and landing shots as they try to exit on either side we've seen him deal with this kicking type of style before he's beaten uh fighters like michelle Pereira by knockout who i think is more advanced of this more advanced style of, the, of jordan wright the same style and i think that dusko also has the advantage in the wrestling and the grappling i think he could take him down if he wanted to i think he clicks against the kids you control him there I also feel as if he has the edge in the striking room because I think that he's going to be able to land his strikes clean, take Jordan Wright's strikes better. He's improved his defense. One thing about Dusko is he does sometimes pull back with his chin high and he can hold his hands low and kind of dip. And if Jordan Wright times a perfect kick, he could turn Dusko's lights out. So there is a little bit of a worry there. But I just feel like Dusko is too well-rounded. He's durable enough. And I think that he's going to be able to use that pressure. He's going to back up Jordan Wright, land that left hook over the top, and hurt Jordan Wright, land a combination on him against the cage, take him out. And I see Dusko being victorious in this fight inside the distance. If he has to grind it out, I think he can do that too by pinning Jordan Wright against the cage, holding him there, eventually taking him down, working from the top position. And Jordan Wright, a lot of his fights and almost all of his victories have came really fast. And he's not used to being in a long fight. So I don't necessarily think that if the fight goes long, it starts to favor Jordan Wright or anything like that. I think that Dusko Todorovic, as long as he doesn't get clipped with a huge shot, a big kick early or a big spin kick, big knee, then I think he's going to be good to go and he's going to get this win. And historically, he's proven to be pretty durable. So even if he does have to face some adversity, I think he'd probably navigate his way through it. So I'm going to go with Dusko Todorovic to win this fight via first round knockout.